In lesson 9.2, you will graph and write equations of parabolas. Remember that a quadratic function whose graph is a parabola can be written in the forms standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, vertex form, y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, and intercept form, y equals a times the quantity x minus p times the quantity x minus q. The equation of a parabola that opens up or down can also be written in standard form x minus h, the quantity squared, equals 4p times y take away k. A parabola is a set of all points x, y that are equidistant from a point called the focus and a line called the directrix. So let's just draw our parabola and uh, talk about all of those parts. Here's a parabola whose vertex is the origin and it's opening up. Its axis of symmetry, remember, divides the parabola into two equal pieces. Well, by definition, any point on this parabola, any point x, y, is an equal distance from a point called the focus that's located inside the parabola and a line called the directrix, which is located outside the parabola. The directrix is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. So to show that those distances from the focus to the point x, y and from the point x, y to the directrix are the same, we'll use little hash marks. And now the focal width of this parabola is the length of a line segment whose endpoints is on the parabola and that passes through the focus. That's the focal width. It's parallel to the directrix. Now the distance that the focus is from the vertex is p units and it'll be the same distance as from the vertex to the directrix. That's also p units. When the vertex of this parabola is 0, 0, that means in our standard form h and k are both 0. When the vertex is 0, 0, standard form simplifies to x squared equals 4py. Now this parabola is going to open up if p is positive and it's going to open down if p is negative. A parabola opening left or right has standard form y take away k, the quantity squared, equals 4p times x minus h. And when the vertex is 0, 0 again, when both h and k are 0, the standard form simplifies to y squared equals 4px. Now this parabola is going to open right if p is positive and it's going to open left if p is negative. So we're going to graph x equals 3 fourths y squared. To graph this parabola, we're going to put it in standard form, which means we're going to solve for our variable squared. We're going to solve for y squared by undoing this multiplication. Well, we don't divide by 3 fourths, we multiply by its reciprocal instead. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 thirds in order to get y squared alone. So y squared is equal to 4 thirds x. And then we need to know our p-value, so we'll factor 4 out of 4 thirds, leaving p equal to 1 third, because 4 times 1 third is 4 thirds. So now we know that our, our p is equal to one-third. Because p is positive, we know that this parabola is opening right. We know that its vertex is zero, zero. Because both h and k are zero, it's of that form, y squared equals 4px. So we can graph the vertex. We know that it's opening right. And we know that the focus is p units from the vertex inside the parabola. So it's one-third unit from the vertex inside the parabola. The directrix is on the outside of the parabola that's opening to the right, and it's one-third unit from the vertex. The directrix is this vertical line per perpendicular to the axis of symmetry, which is going to be the x-axis. So now to determine how wide to draw this parabola, all I have to do is use that focal width, and the focal width is 4p, the absolute value of 4p. Well, since 4p is 4 thirds, 
in this equation. The absolute value of 4 thirds is 4 thirds. Our focal width is 4 thirds, so half that distance, distance of 2 thirds up from the focus and a distance of 2 thirds down from the focus will give me points on the parabola that's opening to the right. and a focal width of four thirds. So there's our parabola. The focus that we need to identify is inside the parabola at one third zero. The directrix is that vertical line outside the parabola and its equation is x equals negative one third. And the axis of symmetry divides the parabola into two equal pieces, so it's the x-axis or y equals zero. In this example, we want to write the standard form of the equation of the parabola with a focus at zero, negative three, and a vertex at zero, zero. So when I write these equations, I like to make a little sketch of that information. The vertex is at zero, zero, the focus is at zero, negative three, and since the focus has to be inside the parabola, I know that this parabola is opening down. Its directrix is outside the parabola and horizontal. Now the equation, since this parabola is opening up or down, has to be of the form x squared equals four py. And all we need to know is that p value. Well, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, and that distance is three units. Since the parabola is opening down, p has to be negative. So our p value is negative three. And our equation is x squared equals four times negative three y. Now I'll clean this equation up by multiplying four times negative three and leaving the equation as x squared equals negative 12 y. In this example, we want to write the standard form of the equation of the parabola with a directrix of x equals negative four and a vertex of zero, zero. So again, I'm going to make a sketch. And this parabola has a vertex at zero, zero. It has a directrix that's vertical, a vertical line that crosses the x-axis at negative four, x equals negative four. So the focus has to be inside the parabola, the same distance from the vertex as the directrix. So this parabola has to be opening to the right. Well, a parabola that's opening to the right has the form y squared equals four px. So again, we need to know our p value. P is the distance from the vertex to the directrix, which is four units. And since this parabola is opening to the right, p is going to be positive, positive four. So now substitute that into the standard form for this equation and multiply to identify the focal width. Four times four is 16. So the equation we're looking for is y squared equals 16 x. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems one through seven odd on page 622 of your textbook.